India's ancient heritage plans to open at night for the first time. In the near future, tourists will be able to roam the ruined city of Hampi, see its past glory and marvel at its beauty in the moonlight. A highlight of the night will unquestionably be Virupaksha Temple. The temple is the soul of the Vijayanagara Empire, better known as Hampi. The empire prospered between the 14th and 16th centuries. In 1986, it received UNESCO World Heritage status, and its popularity with tourists has soared. Over half a million people visit Hampi every year. The temple structures are not only popular with Indians, foreign tourists are also making the journey to the heritage site. When we first came here, we arrived at 5.30 in the morning. We went up to a Mantra Hill um, and had a beautiful overview of whole Humphy and it was just really, it was truly amazing. And then we took a lot of photos and whenever I sent those photos to friends, they were like, wow, where are you? It looks really great. Known as Asia's largest open-air museum, Hampi covers an area of 36 square kilometers. It was the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire. The empire was besieged by the Deccan Muslim Confederacy in 1565, then pillaged for six months before being abandoned. Lost until the mid-19th century, Hampi was rediscovered by local and international visitors. Actually, my grandpa came here 80 years ago, so they were settled down here. It was no any tourism place. It's like simply a pilgrim place. And the, so many people will come to for worship, not to like uh, see anything. Uh, that time was, uh, my grandpa was did, uh, when the pilgrim is come, so they have a, in the temple, prasada like that. But if the people more will come, so he offering a tea, coffee, and have a small food, like homely facilities, because of, they was thought a uh, guest is a god. There are over a thousand monuments in this historical site. The style of monument divides into two kinds of architecture, religious or military. The evolution of Vijayanagara architecture is reflected in the empire's monumental structures. In the 16th century, what I explained to you back there, they did everything. Nothing is left. What we are doing now, in those days, they did. For example, hydrology, irrigation, agriculture, architecture, all, everything. So, what we are doing now, that uh, slightly higher, that with uh, modern machineries we are doing, other than in those days, those people have done. Most of the structures at Hampi are constructed from granite, bricks and lime mortar. The most favoured techniques are lantern-roofed post and lintel systems. The remains are a tribute to the ingenuity of builders in shaping a metropolis on this scale. Looking at the monuments now, it's easy to imagine how grand and extravagant Hampi once was during its glory days. It represents the human capacity to create a wonder of the world. Hampi is truly the pride of southern India. <laughs>